Hey everyone, Mike Lombardo here with GlideFast Consulting. Today I want to give you a demo of the employee health screen process. ServiceNow just recently released four new applications to help organizations get their employees back to work. And I had a chance so far to look at the employee health screen app and I'm actually really impressed. And basically for those who don't know, organizations are going to be having to check temperatures, requiring PPE, personal protective equipment before allowing employees back to work. Also, a lot of organizations are actually just having to do this for their customers before allowing any patients into hospitals. We have to have the, these type of screenings uh, into restaurants that in the states that are opening are going to do have to do certain states are going to have to do temperature checks. So several organizations are definitely going to need this process and you're going to need a process you're going to need somewhere to store that information. And what better place than ServiceNow, right? So we'll talk a little bit about this dashboard in a little bit. I want to jump right into the actually the health screening process. So if you look, we have a, a, a great catalog item here um, with just some basic information. Obviously, we can add more information very easily here. Here's just the out-of-the-box uh, way ServiceNow delivered this app for us. So we can choose a location. Let's choose an employee name. I'm going to go ahead and choose my friend David Liu. I can call him a friend now. <laughs> um, and we're capturing the temperature and whether they are, whether they have uh, PPE, personal protective equipment. So if I, let's say I'm just going to capture a temperature of 100 here. And I'm going to say, yes, David did have his PPE on him. And you'll see right away we get, a, a, we're going to get a yes, no whether this person can enter immediately. Now this is all based on logic on the back end. Uh, we'll show you just kind of what that record looks like on the back end first. So we, you can just see we have uh, PPE result passed, temperature result passed. We have the requester, the requester name, which is basically the user, the employee, uh, the temperature obviously captured and then translate into the, transferred into the, uh, the Celsius. Now, what's great is we do have the ability to actually set, without any customization, with just a check mark, whether we actually even want to uh, track the temperature and PPE data. Now, maybe you have things like HIPAA requirements. Maybe for whatever reason, we don't actually don't want to uh, retain and store the data. We just want to say uh, this person was allowed to enter or not. Simple as that. We, we have the ability to... to uh, uh, turn that on or off. We also have the global temperature for uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius, which, which, uh, at which point we can allow people in or not. So different states may have different regulations, different organizations may have actually different temperatures. Uh, so we can set that globally. And then what I thought was actually really cool as well is we have this table called temperature overrides, which will also allow us to override a specific location. So let's say one state, again, the, the temperature is a different, the, a different temperature, uh, whether we're allowing somebody in or not. And we can also say if this location do not track the temperature of PPE or do, right? So it, 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 ServiceNow really gave us some flexibility without much customiz without any customization uh, on, these, on these topics. So that's pretty exciting. Um, what else did I want to show? So yeah, jump right into the dashboard. This is the dashboard. It, it, again, this is pretty simple because it's meant to be simple, right? It's, it's, uh, we we got to get people back to work quickly. We need to screen them quickly. We need to log the details of that quickly. Um, and I really love this dashboard. Um, you know, it's just a quick, hey, how many were granted versus not? Um, by locations, the trending chart of that daily. Um, number, you know, who's performing these screenings and how many they're performing and which employees were denied access. Again, this is all out of the box, all configurable, all drillable. You can drill into this information. It's, I think this is uh, a great application. I love the logic on the back end, um, the logic in the catalog item, uh, all the coding. So definitely get your hands on this application. Contact Glidefast for a deeper dive demo uh, or information about purchasing. Thank you.